You and Me by Lynn Rickards, illustrated by Connor Brecken and Andrew Painter. Morning. Wake up! Wake up! The sunbirds say. It's time to start another day. I yawn and stretch and scratch my head, then pull my brother out of bed. Wake up! Wake up! The day's begun. Get up so we can have some fun. My brother blinks and rubs his eyes, and hears the sunbirds' morning cries. We dress and eat and find our shoes, then run outside. No time to lose. The morning chores must all be done before the heat of midday sun. All finished. Now we're free to play. We find some shade to spend the day. He catches frogs. I dip for fish. We make believe and make a wish. My wish is this: I'll make no other. May I always have my brother. My sari, by Debjani Chatterjee. Saris hang on the washing line. A rainbow in our neighborhood. This little orange one is mine. It has a mango leaf design. I wear it as a rani would. It wraps around me like sunshine. It ripples silky down my spine, and I stand tall and feel so good. You and me. Eyes of brown. Eyes of blue, you see me, and I see you. Hair of jet, hair of gold, both of us are six years old. Bit by bit, day by day, more and more we laugh and play, up and down, to and fro, playground races. Off we go. Now we're quiet. Take a look. Snuggle down to read a book. Arm in arm, side by side, our two smiles are big and wide. Best of friends, you and me. That is what we'll always be. Suki. When Suki was a kitten. She was just a ball of fluff. She tried to climb the curtains, but she wasn't big enough. She climbed halfway and then got stuck. And Mama had to save her. She didn't fare much better with a ball of string we gave her. When Suki was a kitten, she was curious and brave. Each cardboard box and narrow space was like a secret cave. She'd crawl inside and sniff about, in search of hidden treasure. To find a bug or bottle cap would give her so much pleasure. Now Suki is a grown-up cat. She's long and sleek and clever. Her fur is like a tiger, and her eyes can stare forever. She's just as brave and curious, but now she takes her time. She looks before she leaps. When there's a fence, she wants to climb. Our Suki loves to curl up close, and let me stroke her fur. There's nothing I like better, and just listen to her purr. Our lollipop man. Our lollipop man is called Donald McDonald. His hair is as white as the snow. He's quite a bright fellow, all decked out in yellow. We cross when he says we can go, you know. We cross when he says we can go. Our lollipop man plays his bagpipes at weddings, or birthdays if business is slow. He really looks smart in his pink and green tartan, and puts on a fabulous show, you know. He puts on a fabulous show. Our lollipop man is a colourful character. Wouldn't you say it was so? And if we're in trouble, he's there on the double. A wonderful person to know, you know. A wonderful person to know. Mr. Bing.
Mr. Bing is fantastic. He can cut the world in two. He can make a live volcano. He can catch a kangaroo. Mr. Bing is clever. He can multiply by eights. He can count by sevens backwards and do sums on roller skates. Mr. Bing is funny. He can always make us smile. We love his tie collection. He has such a crazy style. We think school is brilliant, and it's down to just one thing: the greatest teacher ever, our amazing Mr. Bing. Oath of friendship, anonymous, China. Shang Ya. I want to be your friend, forever and ever, without break or decay. When the hills are all flat, and the rivers are all dry, when it lightens and snows in summer, when heaven and earth mingle, not till then will I part from you. Home time. The final bell is ringing, and we're packing up our books. We crowd into the cloakroom, pulling jackets off their hooks. We spill into the playground like a stampede. Here we come! I search the grown-up faces. I am looking for my mum. I see some other parents where they always stand and wait. But my mum? Where is my mum? She is never ever late. At last, I see her running. I am running too, and then she picks me up and hugs me. Everything is right again. Ode to my oldest best shoes, by Kwame Dawes. Soft and just the right shape too. My feet slip in, my toes are giggling. They know how to make a ball swerve. They get green with grass, and brown with mud, and black with soot, and wet with rain, and smelly and grey, and still feel as right as can be. There is no sweating or straining, no moaning and groaning, to get my feet to slip right in. It's as if I am floating, or dancing a jig, barefoot in cotton. Through nettles and thorns, through garbage heaps, over nails and grass, and still feel as right as can be. That's why I am crying like a baby, and limping like a jalopy truck. That is why my toes are whining, that they can't breathe or laugh at all. No dirt, no dust, no stones in the toes. No paint and grease, no games in the bush. I'll never feel right again, Mum. Not with these awful new shoes, Mum. Not with these awful new shoes. Evening feast. The nicest time of every day is when we come together. We've all been hard at work and play in cold and wintry weather. We gather onions for the pot, and peas and carrots too. The salty water's getting hot. Tonight we're making stew. Our mamma fries a bit of meat. She lets potatoes simmer. Before too long, it's time to eat our very tasty dinner. Outside, the chilly winter storm is blowing from the east. We gather close, all safe and warm, and share our evening feast. Three little boats. Three little boats. One, two, three, sailing on a sudsy sea. Three little boats, red, yellow, blue. A storm is brewing. What to do? Here come the waves. Big and tall, swooping down to splash them all. Here comes a shark, circling near. Hurry, let's get out of here. 
little red boat, in a spin, a giant whirlpool sucks it in. Little yellow boat, lost at sea, washes up on my island knee. Little blue boat, tossed and blown, drifts behind me, all alone. Come, little boats, the sea is rough. Bathtub storms are always tough. Come, little boats, you're safe from harm. Shelter in my harbour arms. Imagine. Last night I went to Timbuktu and wrestled with a bear. The night before I battled with a dragon in his lair. I sometimes sail a pirate ship across the seven seas, or fly a magic carpet high above the tangled trees. Some nights I'm in a jungle with an elephant beside me. Sometimes I go to outer space with only stars to guide me. I jump on trains and aeroplanes and follow where they lead. A good imagination and my dad are all I need. Blue. Now it's time to dim the lights, snuggle down and say good night. I've put my books and toys away, all ready for another day. I've washed and dried and brushed and spat. I've kissed my mum and stroked the cat. There's only one thing left to do. To fall asleep, I must have blue. Blue is soft and fits just right. Curled up beside me every night, he never snores. He's good as gold, and though he's worn, and getting old, I love him more than all the rest. Of all my toys, old Blue is best. I close my eyes and hold him tight, and whisper in his ear, "Good night." You and me, a collection of poems about families and friendship.